Hi, uh, disc brakes have been in the news again, so, and their slicing capabilities. So we thought we'd do a little scientific test here this afternoon on Road CC, because it's Friday and you haven't got anything better to do. Uh, where, <laughs> sli to, to test the cutting power of uh, disc brakes, uh, specifically we're using the Shimano Icetech uh, freezer, yes, sorry, thank you, freezer rotor, uh, 140, in fact it's my own uh, rotor which I'll obviously be cleaning later um, uh, on my bike, pedalled very bravely by Liam here. I don't want to lose a foot. No, Thank no, you. don't worry, don't worry. I, I'm, and I, I, you may have noticed I'm wearing a glove. That's not. That's more in case I put my hand through the uh, wheel rather than into the slicey blade of death. So uh, we've got an array of uh, vegetables, and they're moving up into some ser more serious, like meat products, to try and slice. Um, and with, without further ado, Liam, if you'd like to rev the machine up. We'll get going. So first off, I'm using the uh, straight banana. Uh, all bananas will be like this after Brexit. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Protective. <laughs> do I put my protective uh, thingy goggles on? Those probably should be Oakleys. I'm cheap, so they're not. Hey! Oh, nice. it's, it's slicing, to be fair. I'd like a quarter inch, please. Fruit salads are on me. It's got to be, <laughs> so the banana, the banana is dead. Um, <laughs> it's a bit, now it's worth pointing out, I think Matt, you were saying, Matt, is, are you on camera or not? Possibly not. Uh, Matt was saying that in the, um, in the propeloton, the yeah, rotor is, to, they're not allowed to the so, yeah, so they're rounded off. Anyway, could you like to, we'll try with the comedy carrot next. It's not that it's necessary laughing matter. It's harder to, oh. 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 I am actually, so that's the carrot taken care of. Actually, I'm just going to try that. I did mean to get some cheese. I was thinking Parmesan or something hard rather than the cheddar because I've, I've got to clean it. But actually, it's great in capabilities and not. I thought it was going to be more of, oh no, actually it's doing a, bit, a little bit of shredding, well, as we like to say. Like it's more, yeah, it's, it's more like a juicer, I'd say. Our brakes are still working though. Yeah, there you go. Right, next up. Oh, actually, next up we're going to have the, um, the cucumber, but while I'm doing that, possibly the hardest part of today's thing is going to be opening the chorizo packet. So I've given that surprise away, sorry. Anyway, are you ready for some cucumber? Yeah. I, think we know, I think we know how this is going to go. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be messy. <laughs> well, you've got a oh dear Liam. <laughs> anyway, so that's the cucumber. Oh, has anybody got my comedy Spanish sausage? Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sort of oh mate, sorry. You should have worn some over tra trousers. I thought I had the dangerous job, but it turns out we're gonna. So I was gonna see if we can cut the string. Off you go then. It's only string this time. Yeah, I'm watching out for the... Oh, I'm glad I had my gloves on. Oh, it did cut the string too. Right. Ooh, sliced chorizo, anyone? It's like, you know, if we were doing a cooking show, <laughs> But I mean, so let's see, getting a more, because this is sort of skin and thing, I'll just do a, a sort of glancing blow type thing. Right. Mm. 
Oh, oh I've lost, that's a toe gone. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure, we've got, I'm not sure which to do next, the shoe or the uh, meat hammer. <laughs> I, think we'll, I think we'll go with the meat hammer. Don't worry, you're not going to end up with a rear end full of pork. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> to be fair, it is just bouncing off. It's got to be said, I don't know if you can see this, it's pre-scored. That was the butcher did that early for me so I can rub some salt and rosemary in it later. Before roasting it. Anyway, I'll try it again. It actually, Again, I don't know if you can see this. It's, uh, it's, it's marked it, but it hasn't actually broken the skin. It's broken the zip tie. Do you know how long it took to put that on? <laughs> so anyway, it's, it's sort of, uh, I don't know which camera I should be showing this to, but it's, it's, it's grazed it, but it hasn't, um, it hasn't actually uh, scored it. I'm quite slightly surprised. So our final, final uh, piece. Oh, uh, the expensive physique shoe, just like as worn by the pros. Yeah, right. We'll be using my old mountain bike shoe, <laughs> as worn by me. This is possibly the. This is the one I'm a bit most. I'm most worried about. I was going to put my hand in the shoe. Right. It makes a good sound. Well, it's um, it hasn't, it hasn't actually. You can see. It's, uh, it's marked the toe cap, and I was putting a lot of force into it then, and it's scraped, but it hasn't broken the surface of the shoe. So, and my rotor is quite sharp. Um, I don't know, I think that, that concludes that if you want to cut vegetables, the disc brake is the way to go. You probably get an equally good result with the spokes. Um, if you want to- test that <laughs> yeah. Right hey, now. let's. Well, actually, it is a knackered old wheel. Go on. Let's see. We'll just see how the spokes do. That is a good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think. And it's. A, tell you what. Look how clean that is. <laughs> Lucky I wasn't pointing it at the lens. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do that with a meat hammer. <laughs> but maybe with a chorizo. <laughs> oh, I got, I got sausage blowback. <laughs> right, I think that's enough. Uh, it smells delicious. Mm. Two pounds currently at Sainsbury's. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't look at the, my, don't look at my wobbly wheel. Right, so <laughs> we literally have pizza the wheel. Yeah. So there, that concludes our test on disc brakes. Uh, now I'm off to wash my bike, wash my. Actually, the rotor's pretty clean, um, and put. Oh dear, and put my good. Uh, wheel back on. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be bringing you more of this sort of hard-hitting scientific investigation on Facebook Live on Road CC. Don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook Live channel and to our YouTube channel, which this will also be appearing on. Bye!